Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Playoff bound 49ers stay hungry for Brock Purdy's homecoming at Arizona. It's homecoming weekend for Brock Purdy as the San Francisco 49ers continue the chase for the number one NFC seed on Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals in Glendale, Arizona. The 49ers, 10-3, are the first team to clinch a playoff spot. They also are on a five-game winning streak, during which they have outscored opponents 162-65. The Cardinals, 3-10, are rested after a bye week, have won two of their last four games since Kyler Murray's return, and are looking to spoil the Purdy party. Before he was the final player selected in the 2022 NFL Draft and before he became a leading 2023 MVP candidate, Purdy starred at Perry High School in Gilbert, Arizona. That's about 40 miles from the site of Sunday's game at State Farm Stadium, the same venue where he led Iowa State to a Fiesta Bowl win over Oregon on January 2, 2021. Purdy deflected talk about NFL MVP buzz this week. I'm trying to do what I can for this team, for this Sunday, and for this practice or this meeting. I'm not getting caught up in awards and stuff like that, he said. If anything, I look at it more as a team award. I have a great surrounding cast. I've got guys around me that are all making plays, a great defense, great special teams. And so that's a testament to the team that I have. In addition to putting on a show for family and friends, Purdy wants to keep San Francisco in control of its postseason destiny. With wins by 23 points over the Philadelphia Eagles and by 32 over the Dallas Cowboys, both also are 10-3, the 49ers will earn the only first-round buy in the NFC if they win out. Purdy passed for 368 yards with two touchdowns and an interception in last Sunday's 28-16 victory against Seattle. He leads the NFL in completion percentage, 70.2, and quarterback rating, 116.9, entering Week 15. Purdy threw for 283 yards and a touchdown and also ran for a late score in the first meeting with Arizona, a 35-16 win at Levi's Stadium in Week 4. Murray was still rehabbing from ACL surgery in that game and Joshua Dobbs, now with the Minnesota Vikings, passed for 265 yards and two scores for the Cardinals. The difference maker that day was 49ers running back Christian McCaffrey, who ran for 106 yards and three TDs and caught seven passes for 71 yards and a score. The Cardinals played their most complete game of the season before their bye, a 24-10 win at Pittsburgh in Week 13. That game featured 105 rushing yards and two touchdowns from James Conner and eight catches for 89 yards and a TD by second-year tight end Trey McBride. We're a tough team. We're going to fight every game, McBride said. Division, games mean a little bit more. Those are the ones that mean the most, so we're trying to get those ones. Obviously, the 49ers are playing really well right now. Coming into our house, I think it's going to be a great matchup and I'm excited. The 49ers are 4-0 in the NFC West and the Cardinals are 0-4. San Francisco has swept the last three meetings by a combined margin of 111-39. Starting defensive tackles Javon Hargrave, hamstring, and Arik Armstead, foot, knee, cornerback Charverius Ward, groin, linebacker Dre Greenlaw, ankle, hip, and left tackle Trent Williams, ankle, rest, did not practice Wednesday for the 49ers. Marquise Brown, heel, did not practice Wednesday for the Cardinals, but fellow receiver Michael Wilson, shoulder, returned and is on track to play for the first time since Week 10. Kyle Shanahan gets honest about his choice for MVP award. The San Francisco 49ers are regarded as one of the best teams in the NFL. They are traditionally known for their dominant defense, but their offense has come alive this season. He isn't the only 49ers player receiving consideration for this award. Christian McCaffrey's name has also been frequently mentioned in these conversations. Kyle Shanahan was recently asked about his MVP pick in a press conference shared by Around the NFL. His response was typical for an NFL coach, as he said, I mean, are you trying to get me in trouble with those two guys? Shanahan refused to pick one of his star players as better than the other. This is standard practice for coaches, especially those in the league for a long time. Picking one over the other would instantly be a big deal across NFL media, as outlets would say Shanahan has a favorite player. He can be a fan of both athletes, who continue to impress every week. As long as the 49ers' offense remains strong and purdy and McCaffrey keep playing well, the MVP doesn't matter to Shanahan. 
In the NFL, winning games and the Super Bowl are the only two things that matter. Everything else is a secondary bonus, especially for a player like Purdy, who wasn't ever expected to start an NFL game. Fans are interested in seeing how the season will shake out for the 49ers and which player will come home with the MVP award. Are SAN Francisco 49ers incentivized to hire Zach Ertz? Why? Zach Ertz just begged off the Arizona Cardinals roster, the free agent looking for greener playoff pastures. Several landing spots have been suggested and rumored, perhaps most notably the Philadelphia Eagles, his former employer. Should number of landing points also include SAN Francisco 49ers? That's what CBS Sports Brian DeArdo and Cody Benjamin are telling us. Which, frankly, also tells us that CBS Sports doesn't seem to have much insight into what's going on with the SAN Francisco 49ers at tight end. Writes the CBS experts, while Ertz would certainly prefer to return to his beloved Eagles, SAN Francisco 49ers may be able to offer an even cleaner path to pass-catching opportunities. Ertz is a three-time Pro Bowl player. But he's 33 years. And according to one NFL scout we spoke to, age has robbed him of the ability to get on the field. He's a safety valve. Guy now, at best. In fact, in seven games this year, he has one TD and 27 receptions for 187 receiving yards. While it's always smart to be in the never-say-never never club, Ertz on SAN Francisco 49ers would likely be nothing more than a hindrance to the progress of young backups Luke Schoonmaker and Peyton Hendershot. CBS should get familiar with Jake Ferguson Ferguson now has 51 receptions for 570 receiving yards and five touchdowns, ranking him as the league's top Pro Bowl tight end. Three-time Pro Bowl tight end Zach Ertz moved on from the Arizona Cardinals after they granted his release from the team, and the veteran is looking for a new team. Ertz has had conversations with six teams that are currently in the playoff picture, according to NFL media, and being patient as he waits to decide which franchise provides the best fit. Ertz, who has not played since he was placed on injured reserve after suffering a quad injury during Arizona's loss to Seattle on October 22, has caught 27 catches this season for 187 yards and one touchdown. While his numbers aren't prolific, Ertz has been a consistent performer this season. He's caught at least two passes in each game and caught six passes on three occasions. Given the fact that the trade deadline has passed, teams that need help at tight end will surely leap at the chance to acquire Ertz, who helped the Eagles capture the franchise's first Super Bowl win at the end of the 2017 season. It makes the most sense. Almost too much sense. Ertz has always considered himself an Eagle for life, and it just so happens Philly could use pass-catching insurance at the position with Dallas Goddard just returning from injury. Ertz and Goddard have worked together before, and in a much more limited role, Ertz would be able to reunite with the Philly area he calls home without the burden of being a number one in a deep group of weapons. And you fan, what do you think of the Zach Ertz situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.